Look at all this. These are all like sauces. sauces. There are I like this thousands, one. I think. Then has the skeleton head on it. Ooh. No! We're in St. Charles, Missouri on their historic Main Street. There's lots of really cool shops and areas. We're going to Braden's. Mm -hmm. Going to Braden's for lunch. Oh, there's the river. Yeah, it goes right along the <laughs> river. We can take a walk up to yeah, It's a real pretty area. Lots of antique shops and specialty shops. Um, real nice historic area. I love all the street lamps they have. It's a pretty area I at like night. Back in the 1800s. Yeah, very cool. And Braden's has some outdoor eating, which will be perfect for a day like today. There are a lot of little restaurants and gift shops, gift shops crafts, crafts, homemade fudge. Yeah. Grandma's cookies. Might have to get some of that. Uh, St. Charles has a lot of history to it. Um, there's a Lewis and Clark museum, museum here. I'm going to try to check that Katie out. Trail. Katie Trail, which is a really nice long uh, biking, walking trail. This is Braden's, where we're going to eat lunch. Really nice place with uh, seating off to the left of it, outdoor seating. Really cool area. It was rated like number three. Travelocity. Yeah, it's rated pretty high by people who've been here, so we're gonna try it. Looks like a pretty good menu. We're inside waiting to be seated right now. They have a nice bar area and TV to watch. Of course, the Cardinals would be on anytime they were playing. And uh, nice indoor seating, but we're going for outside. Hey, hey Donna. Hi. Hi. We've got a nice spot here, don't we? Braden's Casual Fair. It's all kinds of stuff. It's been open since 1818. It originally opened as Eckert's Tavern. Oh, okay. And it was on the Santa Fe Trail. Oh, the plans for the Santa Fe Trail were drawn up in front of their fireplace. Various businesses until July 2008. And operated by the Stokes. Very nice. Yeah, it's a been good... around a very long time. Yeah, it's a good location. You can see the river off in the distance, and this is a nice outside area. You can sit in the shade or sit out in the and open. And they have the famous toasted ravioli that Missouri is famous for. Yeah, it's a good St. Louis thing, isn't it? And it looks like there's a little pond there with a um, waterfall that they'll probably get going later. So what did you order, Donna? I ordered the kids, I guess Haley, which I'm not sure who Haley is, but Haley's ravioli. He promised it would be toasted, so grilled. I guess they boil it and then grill it. Toast it and then Yeah, and applesauce instead of chips. Yeah, and you already ordered dessert. Yeah. Right? <laughs> They're famous for their coconut cream pie. I read that on the internet. Okay, sounds There's good. There's a lot of bees right behind you. <laughs> Where? Bees? Yeah. Bees know. they attracted to that holly bush. I don't know. Bees know a good place to eat, too, so. Uh, this is uh, because I'm allergic to bumblebees. That would be real bad if I got stuck. Yeah. So Braden's is be approved. They give it a B. The bees approve of this place, and so do the birds. They like the rolls here. Apparently, the bread. Somebody threw one out. My hamburger looks big and really good, and Donna's looks good too. And Donna's like getting my onions. And you've got ravioli there, like five of them on the kids' plate. Yeah, so it looks good. Oh, I didn't pick off your tomatoes. It's okay. She's waiting on me today. She's really nice. I guess that means you have to eat it. I hope I will. The dessert got here at the same time it is a nice big piece of coconut cream pie. Don't know which one to start on first. Well, I guess I'm, I'll wait. Finish my burger first. It's awful good though. I would rate this pie a 10 out of 10. Mm. 10 out of 10? 
Yeah. It's amazing. Looks like it. Do I get any of that? Yeah, you get half. Okay. Okay. That sounds fair. But you can have part of my half if you're still hungry. You didn't have as much food as I did. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. really good. I want to bite of your hamburger, though. You can have a bite of my hamburger. <laughs> it's really good, too. Looks like a tour group. Little grim lady. Some school kids with somebody in a period costume leading the tour. Explaining. Um, she's explaining about how the what things used to be. Well, how they did the fireplace treaty for the. Yeah. I can't remember what treaty it was. <clears throat> We're going into Figaro's. Gourmet specialties, coffees and teas. See what's going on in there. Hot sauce shop. Espresso bar. Figaro's has all kinds of uh, coffees, teas, but they have a lot of barbecue, steak sauces, rubs, things like that. Look at all this. These are all like sauces. sauces. There are I like this thousands, one. I think. Then has the skeleton head on it. Ooh. No. Like try it, Donna. Let's get some. Burn your throat. It. No. There's so many. One's called insanity. Well, one's called colon blow. Hmm. Use your Devil imagination on that one. Devil seed. Country Bob's. What is it? Devil seed. Dragon's breath. Devil seed. Fire water. Fire in the hole. Ugh, fuel the mule. Fifty <laughs> shades hotter. They have all kinds of stuff. It's Hot lips. It's amazing what they've no. got in here. I guess every strength and hotness grade imaginable, so macho macho man. Wow. I've never seen so many, but definitely be the place to come if you like hot sauce and even hotter sauce. In this locked up case, they have the world's hottest, top 60, 60. hottest sauces. They even have a caution sign. You must be 21 to purchase. Satan's blood. You must sign a waiver. Scary. They're cooking sauces, so you use very sparingly, one drop at a time. So, wow. Seriously? That the is kind of scary, The Undertaker. <laughs> Hell's Inferno. Oh, man. Satan's blood. Uh, meet. Smack my. Meet your maker. Oh. Chef's gone mad. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They don't have to worry about me. I don't want any of those. It's not bad either. $42. Made in the USA. Donna's doing a little outdoor dress shopping. Where do you try it on? Just around the corner? Inside, maybe. Behind the tree? No. Yeah, hopefully you can go inside. Yeah. There's another outdoor dress. That's cool. It's a nice day. You can do that. What is this place? Hey y'all. What? $25. What are you looking at, Donna? I like glass doorknobs. They're pretty cool. This one's $25, like $24.95. But look at the artistry work inside that. It's, cool. it's pretty cool. It's a collection there. There's one that's like it's different. Yeah. I like but that. it's only $12.95. So many cool shops down here on the Old Main Street in St. Charles. A lot of things to look at. I just bought an old Polaroid camera myself. Not much of an antique, but it's pretty cool. It's a giant medicine bottle, large European apothecary jar. And it at one time contained Traga Kente Yummy. Don't know what that is. Maybe that's what you make gummy bears out of. I bet not, but it's interesting. I found Prince Albert in a can. I think I better let him out. I actually bought a Polaroid camera at the Joy's, Joy's shop, which is a really cool shop. I was just looking at it. wasn't really going to buy it, but I 
dropped it. <laughs> so I didn't know if it was broken or not, but it hit pretty hard. So it I thought said you break it, you buy it. Well, it, I probably did somewhere. <laughs> I just thought I better buy it. So I don't even know if it works and it maybe it used to work before I dropped it, but probably not now. So it probably does. Maybe I can sell it on eBay, get my money back. Oh well. Or donate it. Can't take me anywhere. I gotta be careful. What do you got there, honey? It's uh, the bike stop cafe's famous peanut butter balls. Bike stop cafe. Cafe and bike shop and their famous peanut butter balls. You would say they're what? Rice Krispies and peanut butter. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe molasses, maybe? And you like them? You would say they're good? Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Good. Pretty sweet as in sweet or good? Both? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty sweet as in real sweet. Okay. Just down from the bike stop cafe is. One of the entrances to the Katy Trail. There's a statue of what I presume is Lewis and Clark. There's a statue of Lewis and Clark. And the dog. I never knew about the dog. So, maybe that's a little known footnote in history. It's Lewis and Clark and Rover or something. And in St. Charles, the Katy Trail goes right along the river. Be very pretty. This literally is a cigar store Indian. Yeah. It's a tobacco shop, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I like this house. It's cool. It's pretty trees. I'm probably gonna get that in the video. What? That reminds me of like something you'd see in Savannah, Georgia. You know, over here. Oh. The yellow and green one, the red bud, the yeah. red bud tree. It's pretty. You said we almost did some more accidental shopping. You almost knocked something over that time. Yeah. Is that right? Is that Lewis? No. Daniel Boone. This is a sculpture of Daniel Boone. Get a selfie with them. Yes. Daniel, can we get a selfie with you? Yeah, yeah. He says, come on. He's reaching out his hand. Let's go. He's going to hold the camera. He's got a hand out here. Huh? What? Here's Daniel Boone taking a selfie. He was ahead of his time. Cookies and cream. Yeah. Canine Cookies and Cream Dog Bakery. We really know how to treat our animals in America, don't we? You might smell it. Dog ice cream, cool pup cups. Pretty cool. This is the old Millstream Inn restaurant. It's got a nice outdoor setting. And then right next to it, there is actually a stream. Water wheel. Very cool. And that building where the water wheel is, that is the Trailhead Brewing Company Restaurant and Brewery. Can you read it to it? Yeah, the Western House was built prior to 1821 as a distillery and inn. The Boone's Lick Trail. It's, it's a neat old building. You're really into history. Yeah, Western House. We're kind of at the one end of Main Street. We're going to walk back down the other side. Here. Historic Main Street. First Missouri State Capitol Tourism Center. Welcome. Even the restrooms here are historic. It's an old time soda fountain. Featuring Oscar and Oski gooey butter cakes made from scratch here by the original Oscar and Oskis. We're going into Kilwins to get a uh, caramel apple. Okay. Good. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. They're making their own fudge over there. Let's go. Yeah. Some 
such good chocolate. I don't know. Look at that. Oh, look at that fun turtle rice crispy treat. Oh, the marshmallows that are dipped in chocolate. That reminds me of Disney. Giant peanut butter cups. Look at those peanut size of the peanut butter cups. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great store. We just checked into the Country Inn and Suites in St. Charles on Main Street, and we're in the Honeymoon Suite. And pretty nice room. Very nice room, I'd say. Sorry. Credit where credits do. There's a bathroom. Yeah, here's Donna. Hi. Hi. It's Happy anniversary. Her. You too, hon. There's a refrigerator, That's microwave, huge. coffee maker. This is the room, and it has a jacuzzi tub out here, which is nice. And you could probably turn the TV and sit in the jacuzzi and watch TV if that's your thing and nice desk I wonder if this makes big sense. king size bed it does there's another bed makes out into sofa a sleeper. bed sofa I mean, sleeper if you had kids just to, to sleep kids would love that yeah. jacuzzi too oh yeah just to play in <laughs> yeah. that's a very nice room and our view is just out on to main street we're on the ground floor here. So, very nice room, nice hotel. St. Charles, Missouri is a great city. It's just north of St. Louis off of Highway 70 and it's easy to get to. Especially interesting is its historic Main Street district. It has a lot of great places to eat, a lot of shopping, and you'll find a lot of antiques, collectibles, and interesting merchandise you won't find anywhere else. The 240 mile long Katy Trail also runs through it along the Missouri River. And if you're in St. Charles, it's a great place to run, walk, or bike. Uh, it's a great place to spend a fun day. Thank you for watching, and we'd appreciate your comments. And if you'd uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.